Hello everyone, I'm Swizzle and welcome to episode one of Automation Empire. As always, with episode one of our Let's Play series, let's start out by reading a little description of the game. I don't know too much about this game other than that it came out recently and it looks like a pretty fun management simulation sort of game. So let's check out what it's about. Automation Empire is a simulation management game all about efficiency and expansion. Start with nothing and build up a massive interconnected industrial network of factories and machines. Economical transportation of resources will be essential to your success as an automation engineer. Utilize every tool you have access to, including minecarts, drones, trucks, trains, and cargo rockets. Employ your ingenuity and creativity to plan out an efficient logistics network of machines to form a mechanical super organism of production. All right, that sounds really complex. I don't honestly know if this is a sandbox only game or if there's some sort of mission campaign structure. So I guess let's jump right into it. All right, we got planets. Oh, we do have goals. Oh, so I wonder, is this like a roller coaster tycoon sort of a thing where you got different areas and each one has their own goal so instead of roller coaster tycoon it's like get 800 guests within year two of the park being open it looks like instead you have different goals of outputs we need to output this much material or not wait it's all the same maybe it's just different each one provides a different hazard uh i guess let's go with split valley new colony name your colony oh boy what should we name it? What should we name it? What's starter mode? Starter mode provides you with the basics pre-built. If you're unfamiliar with the game, starter mode is essential. Okay, so we'll do that. Ooh, challenge mode. Challenge mode adds taxation. Ah, taxes. Good old taxes. Split valley. What should we call this? How about efficiency? Whoopsie. Valley. Sure. I highly doubt it's got to be efficient, but let's check it out. All right, Split Valley, work around a dried up riverbed, jutting through the landscape, splitting it in half. Goal, 30,000 kilograms, three month weight output. I don't know what that means. So what do we got here? Oh, we got a little robot worker. Let's up the audio a bit. I can barely hear this. Build a view. Wait, where are the, where are the options? Hello? How oh, there are no options. Boop, 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 boop. Whoops. Oh, let's pause. Oh, here's sound. There you go. That should be better. Uh, oh, wow. This really tells you nothing, huh? All right. Um, what do we got? Drones. Transport crates from unload stations to load stations or trucks at pit stops powered by a drone bay. So this is digging. What is this? Mining rig. Extracts raw resources from the ground, such as coal. Iron and gold must be built on a resource deposit. It needs power. Does not need water. Connecting water enables fracking. Okay. And you get one coal per 10 seconds. What is this? Transfer tube. Crate maker. Oh, so that loads everything into the crate maker. The crate maker puts it in a crate. Construction outputs crates onto a conveyor or unload station. As optional input ports, which allow crates to be filled during creation, can be built inside or outside. Limited to producing 30 crates, which must be sold or destroyed before more crates can be made. Got it. So this has like three crates in it. So this robot is technically not keeping up. Let's see, is this going to get to like five? So it seems like this might slowly fill up before this robot can beat it. Wait. It's grabbing crates, so why is it this still going up? So this should now go to four. Or not. Huh. Only 30 crates created by this crate maker can be active in your colony at a time. Oh, active in your colony. Oh, I get it. So it's got six right now. It's going to deliver them. Wait, where does it deliver them? Oh, okay. This is just like out of the map. Road exit. Got it. So let's see. Will this drop down by six? Let's check. Let's check going into the abyss and is it gonna yep okay so we figured that part out at least so what's over here we got power lines can't click them 
What's this? Power station generates electric power with which current certain structures require in order to function. Drone Bay provides wireless compu computation power for four drones. Houses a neural network supercomputer. All right, so we can get four drones total. And what does this do? It gives us a truck. Must be built near any road. Okay, so there's an entry point. So why is it, what's this? It's not filling up. So maybe once this gets full and this is empty, it'll spit out a truck. So it's empty. Now, truck. Truck. What? Hello? All right, I don't quite get it. Maybe it spawned back here. Who knows? So let's see. What do we got in here? Drones, drone bay, research bay. Journey its research points will be spent on upgrades menu to improve various colony capabilities or unlock new structures. Receives any resources as input. Returns research points equivalent to the dollar value of the given resource. Research points become claimable after bay processes 20 crates. The heck? Transfer tubes? Small containers, large containers, power pole, power station, crate maker, which is that. There's the mining rig. All right, so it looks like we got load stations, which would be, oh, that little guy. Drone priority. Oh, so that's how we affect what the drones do? Unload station. Looks like we got mine carts, cranes of some sort, trains, and roads. Oh, we can make extra roads? Wait, how, how do we rotate this? Can we rotate this? R, okay. Must be built into a cliffside. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So like that, can't be built here. What, what? All right, let's just do, clearly these go here. All right, so those are gonna dig. So I guess let's just copy this, right? So we need a load station. No, unload station. We will 100% just copy. Oh crap, that doesn't go there. No, 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 no. Get rid of it. We needed a crate maker, which would be, oh no, transfer tube. What's the difference between these? Transfer resource from one structure's ground port into another structure's ground port. Wait, these are the same. Exact same wording, what's the difference? Length? got to be length okay now we need crate maker crate maker so does this have a port on the back it's got three ports all right and then we need the unload and then we need one more drone right and then we'll set this one to high so will he go get this crate okay so it looks like they'll maybe they'll ping pong back and forth between these? Uh, is there anything we else want to turn on or off? I think we're good. Active crates. So why are they only going to this one now? What's up with that? Are you going to go this one? Wait. Hey, you forgot this one. All right, let's build. Let's do the same thing over here then. So that'll go there. Transfer tube. Unload station and another drone. And now let's set high priority. There's no truck. So they're clueless. What? Okay, there's a truck. Wait, why are they only going to this one? What's up with that? What? What is this? Research unlocks. Cost 20000 Oh my god. Finances. We're making 7000 a month. No cost for power right now. Probably because it's a starter level. Oh, demands. So what are we currently getting? Coal, right? And coal gives us an 18% demand bonus. Weights, weights per one crate worth. So for coal... It is 10 kilograms per crate. Coal can be turned in. Coal ore can be turned into coal. Tips. To add mine carts or claw trains to a track, select the track you've built and process the, press the add button to buy some. All right. Uh, this looks like it's going to be way later. 
All unloaded stations can be set up to destroy crates which reach the end. It automatically destroy any empty crates which reach the end. Okay, so that's... I'm guessing if there's a way to pick these up, it'll then get rid of empty crates. So we need to output 4,500 kilograms within three months. I'm guessing this is like a rolling total. So every month, this will like drop down the previous month. So right now, it'll do March, April, May. And then when June hits, it'll do April, May, June. I'm guessing. All right. So how big is this level? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, we got this whole area. I got it. I still don't know why they're only going. Okay, this one went to that one. Hey, sir. Okay, now you're going to that one. Why aren't they? Let's get another drone. Because we can hold four drones with this. So there should be enough for them to do. All right, so let's see. Can I do another road? Serves as a path for trucks passing through your colony to buy your crates of resources. Okay. Pit stop, that's for the truck. So if we do road entry, must be built into a cliffside. This is a cliffside. Is it not? Can we not build this yet? Or do we need a road? Let's see if we do that okay that doesn't do anything insufficient funds okay at least that makes sense so should we wait till the 20,000 and see if we can build an entryway on that this should get us to it I hope actually I don't know how much this sells for how do we know how much it sells for Ooh, 6,900. Nice. What? Can't be built here. Why not? Wait. Uh. Wait, why was that blue of all the places? Someone explain. Does this whole red area need to be within a cliff? So because of this, this red area on the outside is outside the cliff. It's not going to work. What about over here? So this should work over here. No. Well, that can't be it because this clearly goes out of those bounds. All right. So I don't quite get the placement of this tunnel. I can understand it not working there. Can we put it over here? I'm guessing this is out of bounds. What is this? Yeah, that's out of bounds for sure. For sure. Uh, what? I don't get it. Okay, we can put another tunnel here though. Wait, why can we put a tunnel here? Somebody explain. Well, we can at least get everything converging over there I guess so we can do a tunnel there a tunnel there what all right what is this deposit is there a way to check I'm guessing it's just visual let's do mining rigs Ooh, how far does power go not very far okay and then how much does coal sell for? That's what we were looking at. Coal sells for 1,145 per. So if we do, let me do some quick math. 1,145 times six, 6,870. That's about right. Cause we made what 6,900 that one time. And I'm sure that price fluctuates. So how far does this power go? Oh, we need power poles, right? Ah, it shows you how far it connects. And how much does it power? 12 out of 40. Okay, we're golden. Maybe let's have this just go along the wall. Or the street, I mean. There we go. Oh, it only uses three. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 800 power. $800 a month. All right. There we go. 
and let's do, I wonder, can I add, we just have to experiment here. Can I add something like this? And then, what's with the curvy road? Oh, S-Bend. S-Bend. Can I go like this? Uh, I don't know. Our truck's going to know how to use that. I highly doubt it, right? Okay, you're going to get coal. Road pit stop. How do we connect the road? Oh, does it have to be off the road like that? Wait, then how do we connect these roads? What? There's got to be a way to connect these. Eh. Eh. Somebody help. All right, all right, all right. Hello? Wait, oh, rotate. Duh. Cause you can't even do that, cause then... Is it really a one pit stop per road? No, it can't be. Well, even then, if it's, well, no, then we have to do an output. Although we couldn't figure out how to do an output. Cause it'd be this guy. Oh, we can. All right. Wait, so why does that work? So we need, can we do one over here by chance? We cannot. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Now, can we do an entry anywhere? I highly doubt it, because I don't get it. Uh. All right, I'm definitely going to have to check to see why I can't place entries. I get why I can't place right now because it's 20,000, but it's not even lighting up blue. Wait, it was lighting up blue. Does it not even light up if you don't have the money? Let's delete these roads, get some money back. All right. Okay, I'm going to go check out exactly why I can't place these entryways everywhere and see if there's a way to connect roads, and I will be right back. All right, did some searching. Couldn't actually really find anything on the road system. Just from doing a quick search, it looks like it's basically you do one tunnel entry and exit for every road. It seems like it doesn't look like there's a way to combine roads. I guess they just maybe they're not aiming for that, the developers, or maybe they there's no AI to program like directions that cars go and trucks go. So it looks like the entryways are just per road. And I didn't figure out why we couldn't do entryways everywhere. Let's unpause this. Um, yeah, I don't get why. Well, I get, again, why we don't have money right now. All right, we got all the drones going. We need this money. So these aren't doing anything, but I think we can at least add, can we add another thing here will this connect okay that doesn't con what what can we just overlap it oh we can nice so question is will this oh the priority was off i got it that's why the other box was red but even then the roads didn't connect so now we have another truck coming out which is great okay so let's see if we do well, now we need to wait for another delivery. Oh, dang it. So what's going on here? Let me turn up the volume again. This is really quiet. There we go. All right, let's get this money. So let's see, how much is this going to give us? Let's see if this works out. Where are we? Coal? 6680. Actually, yeah, I think that's just about right with that. All right, so that's an easy way to figure out exactly how much we're gonna get per truckload. All right, so let's see, can we do... Yeah, I'm still not quite sure why we can do it like here, but then we can't do it here. Must have another entrance in proximity. Oh! Oh! 
Wait, why is that a thing? Must have entrance in proximity. What? So why could I build here? What about exit? So nothing with the exit, but the entryway. So we could do one there because there's a thing there and then we could extend it out there. I think we could. Hmm. Can you totally cheese it and just like put an entryway here that does nothing and then just be able to expand over there? We might be able to. All right, let's get these working just so we're getting more money in. So what did we need? We need, we're gonna keep going with this system for now. See how this works. Let's go, is that an, is that an exit? How do I, there we go. Pop one there, pop one there. Now we need a crate maker. Whoop, whoop. And an unloader, unload station. What if we do, oh wow these cost. What? 2,500 for a conveyor belt? You kidding me? You know what? I think we're gonna need, wow, we're gonna need more drones. We're gonna need more drones, more power? Oh boy. Drone bay, we're gonna need another drone bay. Is there a more efficient way to do this? Should we look into mine carts? What do mine carts do? We can do mine carts. Mine cart track. Oh, the height, got it. But we don't actually have mine carts, do we? Got claw tracks, train tracks. That's for mining. Transfer tubes. Wait, where do we get the mine carts? Do we not have mine carts? What? We gotta have mine carts. Power. Are mine carts automatically? No, they're not. What? Where do the mine carts come from? Let me see. Is there anything in tips? Let's see. Let's go back to number one. To add mine carts or claw trains to a track, select the track you built. Oh, there we go. Press the add button. Herp derp. We got it. We figured it out, boys. So let's see if we do, can we do this? Let's see, let's delete these. Let's add another mining rig. Let's get all of these going. What's our power at? Make sure we're not over budget. I honestly don't know if power is shared too. So like, let's say I build another power station over here and put on the same wires, does that increase the capacity for all of this to be 80? Or do I have to segment it out? I do not know, we'll have to experiment. Let's see, so if I do a minecart type, oh, turn type, T to toggle turn type. Ah, like a 90 degree and more like a 45 degree. So if we just go straight, can we go like this? Now let's add a mine cart, add. Wait, what is this? It only goes left. Wait, what? I don't know what that does. Let's add more carts, I guess. Each cart can hold four crates worth. Okay, so that could hold 12. So let's see, how do we handle this then? Transfer tube. I still don't know the difference between these. So we're gonna need a transfer tube like this, I would assume. And then tube on this side. Is that gonna work? Do these angle, these don't turn. Okay, does this turn? It does not turn. Hmm. Okay then, small container, large container, remote connector, drone bay. Well, one thing we can do then is this. Let's get rid of that power. Oh, that was loud. Okay, let's put this power back there then. And let's go like this. Let's take this train track. And let's go this way. There we go. And let's delete these. So if I go, cause this looks like it has to be straight. 
Can I do that and then this? What are the difference between these? What's, I don't, I see no difference in these. Oh, in and out. Got it, got it, got it. Are these in and out? Out? No, these are the same. One's just longer? All right. So if I do this, only connects to straight track. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, redo. You know what? Let's, let's, let's modify this again. That is so loud. I'm gonna have to edit that out. Holy crap, that is loud. So if we do this, can we then go like this, like that, like that, and like that, and then dump this there, there, and there. Now, can we tell this to go? No, we can't. What? Go. Is this not connected? All right, I don't get it. Tips, we need tips. Possible transfer resources between a step conveyor and a mine track via this simple setup. All right, so that's sucking it out. It goes into there and then spits it out into a crate. Mouse over, press spacebar to duplicate. Ooh, that's a nice fun feature. Nice. Containers can be useful for storing resources. Minecarts can hold the four crates worth. Research bays, unload station and destroy crates. We read that one. We don't have transfer clause yet. Downward nozzle of a transfer tube can only connect to a step conveyor or mine track. All right, so we got that. It's connected to a mine track. So why is this not? We This is how we have this set up, right? Yeah, it's just straight up connected. Minecart tracks are great for transporting resources from distant mining rigs. Got it. So that's probably how we should handle these, all right? Hold tab to see all your factories at the same time. I have no factories. All right. Avoid sending your drones on long journeys. Travel time matters. Don't expend new resource deposits while fully utilizing your current ones. Bottlenecks in your system can cause major revenue deficiencies. Claw tracks, add mine carts. All right. All right, let's figure out why this is not working and we will be back. All right, so I think I figured it out. So in hovering over this, I noticed these are both called transfer tubes. The transfer tubes transfer resources from one structure's ground port into another structure's ground port. I don't think these are considered structures. I think they're just considered transfer tubes because as you can see, they don't even connect to each other. So I think these have to be directly connected to the mining rigs. So let's edit this track and we're gonna have to get the track right up to the mining rigs let's actually put in the transfer tubes so we know how it's working so yeah as you can see that connects beautifully and then what we'll do we'll make sure we got a track let's see let's just do a basic track there straight ones just so we know how it's all gonna sit all right Let's go like this and then can we get this oh dang you know what i think we could probably fudge it a bit if we just do one big track oh no we can't no can we do a really small one really small turn really small turn that's a big turn small turn small turn small dang we can't all right, so how, you know what we can do? Ooh, here we go. Let's do this. Can we go around? Oh, come on. Ooh, we got we got S-Bend. S-Bend. Yes. Nice, 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 nice. Here we go. So then if we do this. All right, so let's do, let's connect this S-Bend like this. Actually. You know what? Let's just have this there. We'll just make this go like this. And then we will just delete this straight up. 
and we'll reset this minecart. And we'll go like this. Add three carts, sure. We might need more carts than that, we'll see. Beautiful. Nice. So now, question is, how do we get it into a crate maker? Construct and outputs crates onto a conveyor or unload station. Oh! Can we do... So we do need crate maker. Can we do something like transfer tube out? So we need to suck out, right? Will that suck out? It won't go anywhere, I assume. All right. Can we do something like this? See, I don't get why that connects, but then I can't connect that. Like, how are you supposed to build pipelines? Can you not build pipelines? Water pipe, water pipe, water pipe. Transfer tubes. I cannot believe you can't build, like, pipelines. What? Because then there's no way to connect things like that? So if I do, what if we do like three of these? Say so if I take this, hmm, that's not going to work either, is it? If we do transfer tube out, only connects to track, okay. There we go. So we'll do that. We'll delete this again. So that's going to transfer out. And then this is going to go... Well, that can't even connect. So that's somehow supposed to make crates. How do we make crates? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I got it. I got it. I got it. So that makes crates regardless if there's stuff in it. So if we do this... Can we do something like this? And then can we do another train track? Or a minecart track, I mean? Will that work? That will not work. All right. Oh, we need... I'm so stupid. Crates need the conveyor system. Let's rotate that out. Oh my god, the money cost. Doesn't interact with transfer tubes. Are you kidding me? It's an empty crate. Why does it not... Wait, no, don't delete it. Don't, what? Why are you deleting? Why are you deleting? Destroy all crates. Oh, is that just an automatic thing? Where was that? An unload station can be set to destroy crates which reach the end. It will automatically destroy any empty crates. Got it. So this just toggles on if it destroys full crates, which we never want it to do. So how do we get the storage out. I don't quite get this. I need help. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I'll be back when I do some more tinkering. All right. So no matter what, we know we need this. We know we need to suck out. Wait, will this even suck out though? We'll see if that sucks out. Can this connect? That cannot connect. What? Oh, I'm looking at it the wrong way. I'm thinking this go. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at this the wrong way. This goes like this. We need to suck up. Yeah, that's what it is. That still won't connect. All right. Do we have to connect it? I'm guessing we have to connect it to this, a container. Let's see if that works. Let's see how this works. Where's my cart? Wait, is that cart empty? Is that cart not full? All right, is this gonna work? <gasps> it works! It works! So then, can we do crate maker? Right, we have to pump it into a crate maker. Where's the crate maker? Where's the crate maker? There it is. Make a crate. And then an unload station. Three. Four, five, six. Actually, 
let's let's undo this. I hope I didn't lose coal there. I probably did. But we probably have a ton waiting to be made. Oh, wrong way. Let's go this way. Let's try to get it closer to the road is my thought. And then let's do crate maker. Let's, let's actually do it on the side like that. And then we can do one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Will that get a bunch of drones over here? And then we'll do high priority on these. And then medium priority on these. Is there a way to... Oh, is this what the crate picker is for? The claw track? Maybe that's what that is for, but we don't have it unlocked yet. How do we unlock things? Research station, right? Is that in here again? Research station. I think I missed it. I think it was at the... Like a starting tool to let's see research station. Journeys research points but can be spent on the upgrades menu to improve various colony cap capabilities or unlock new structures. Receives any resources as input, returns research points equivalent to the dollar value of the given resource. Okay, so we pump in a resource and we get research points based on the value of that resource. Got it. So if we do so let me do this let's delete this sorry can i just do this where's the research station it's pretty big it's hefty oh boy what's our power at 23 nice so it's processing coal coal into research points we have zero research points power connected yes no water content eight out of eight what what does that mean Running contain resource into research points over time. Nice. So we got one coal. How do we claim this? We can't. What? This needs 20,000 research points. Oh, that's not going to take terribly long. Is it? I don't think it will. Yeah, that won't take too long. Where's our money at? Oh, we got 120 grand. So it looks like they're just going to take from here, which does not bother me at all. We have a ton of coal. Dude, go to this truck. Go to this truck. This truck right there. Right there. This truck. Go, go, go. So we need more drones, I think. More drones, more drones. Is there anything else we can use to transfer? I don't think there is, so we just straight up need more drones. Ten grand. Oh, that doesn't have to go next to it. All right. Is there... Let me see, where's our power at? 23 still. So, is there a... Do I, like, connect the drone to... I guess I don't. Two, three, four. All right, we got eight drones. I think these are the equivalent in, like, RTS games of houses... So you don't necessarily just have to make sure one drone is assigned to a house. I think it's just this increases capacity by plus four. I think this could be off in a corner, honestly. Wait, what are you guys doing? You don't see this? Here, no. Put these on medium. Put this on medium. 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 You go take this first. You know what we could use? Another road. Another road. There you go, and all, and high priority. Nice. Man, look at all this. So why are they still going to this and not this? I wonder if there's some sort of algorithm of priority versus distance. I don't think we have enough trucks now. How do we get more trucks? Can we get more trucks? Okay. That came out at an awkward time. Let's see if another truck comes out before this bar fills. I don't think it will. I think one will spawn in about two seconds now. One, two. Truck. There it is. All right. So it looks like a truck comes out right about here. It probably spawns and then takes its time to come out. Got it. 
So we actually don't need... If anything, we need another road now. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. I broke it. I broke the road. Sorry. There you go. All right, let's do another road entry. Must be built on the cliffside. It is on a cliffside. We're going to start this crap again. Oh, we're going to start this crap again. I see. What? I could easily play. Oh, it's rotated. Uh. Okay, so that was my fault. So let's see if I just place a road here. And then say I do. Let me see. Let's do one there. And we'll go down here. Place an exit. Nice. And turn that on. And we'll get a truck coming out, right? That should work. Whoa, we're actually out of coal. Dang. This should be good. I think three trucks. Is this enough? That'll fill that. Another truck comes out. And then they can fill this truck. Let's see what truck they go for. Oh, they arrived at the same time. Oh, they're going for that one. Nice. Boom, full load. Full load right there. If anything, maybe this track is too long. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. And how's our research points doing? 14,000. All right. We're going to skip ahead until we get a research point, and we're going to check out what this does. All right. We got our 20,000 research points. Let's claim it. See what it does. All right. We claimed it. Now what? All right, we got 20,000 research points. No, this cost 20,000. How do we know how much we have? Oh, down here, 20,000. So we can get, looks like we can only get this top one. All right, unlocks refinery factory. Refine your lightweight ores into heavier. Refine resources using the refiner. So coal ore into coal. Also construct a factory, which the refiner and many other machines must be built inside of. The refiner both inputs and outputs crates. Unlock. Okay, it's unlocked. So where's that? Oh, here we go. We got a doorway and a factory. How's a factory work? Oh, is it like an area? Oh, we build it. It's like a building. I got it. All right, we will tackle that next time. This seems like a very complicated game. I believe this game is still in early access. I don't honestly know if it's in early access or if it actually came out. I honestly just randomly bought it, so I don't know what state it's in. But yeah, it looks like maybe it could use a little bit more explanation and tutorials, at least in my opinion, because I did already have to go searching out for how some things work right off the bat within the first 30 minutes of playing this game. Maybe that's on me, but let me know if you guys are having any of the same sort of issues I was having trying to figure some stuff out, and I will catch you all on the next video. Take it easy, everyone.